Hello friends, welcome to my channel, a channel for learning simple coding. If you find this video to be helpful, please like, share and subscribe my channel. From this first video, I am starting a new series on Next.js. Why Next.js? Because officially React community recommending to make your new application on Next.js in place of pure react js library that's why i'm starting this series i have a famous series on react js react native react native weather type script so many videos i have more than 400 of videos i have on same channel so here i'm starting a new series on next js this is the first class first video in this video i'm going to explain you the following things if you see this class 1 I want to teach you how to install node.js what is the need of node.js for next.js what is the use of npx create next app command what is the use of npm run dev remember that these are the basic questions which the interviewer ask in interview also because these are the basic concept that every learner or every developer of react applications should know so in this video i am going to cover these concepts for a fresher who don't know react also that person can also follow my playlist because in future i will make so many videos on this next year this is the first one i am starting from this and the beginner can also join this no need to learn uh, react js if you don't have a knowledge of react js because i will take uh, all the concept of react js also like components events property passing so many things which is required in uh, react js i will explain in these series also but if you already know react js or react native or other react platform then it is use beneficial for you also so let's we see what is node.js and how to install it so we go to browser here we say node.js you see we go to the node.js website and here we have two version of node.js this is current one that is the beta one nobody used it and second one is recommended for most user that is stable version so you can click on this and you have to install this so if you click you have a window platform then you will have this file if you have other platform then automatically it will sh show you the your platform so i have a window 10 that's why showing me a window now after this it will download this one node version 18.17.1 so it's very simple in window double click on it it will try to install i have already installed but i am giving you a process how to install so that you feel comfortable so so it taking a little bit of time is analyzing the directory structure and a window platform now click on next accept the license agreement then next then directory and i recommend you that do not change the directory keep it the same same no need to change anything otherwise it will create problem remember that if you want to run your node.js smoothly please do not click it leave it unchecked do not check it remember this i am not checking this otherwise you will have different kind of problems so keep it unchecked next and install so this setup will install latest node.js 18.17.1 version and we will see that the same version we have or not we will check it also after installation it will take little bit of time so you see that first question we have cover up the question was how to install node.js Second one, what is the need of Node.js for Next.js? Remember that the answer of this question is that Node.js is the fundamental setup for all the JavaScript based libraries or frameworks. For example, if you want to run Angular, then you need Node.js. If you want to run uh, React, you need Node.js. If you want to run uh, react native then you need this if you want to run react with material ui then you need this if you want to use next.js you need this means for all javascript based frameworks and library those run at back end or front end 
like node.js itself run at backend it software requirement is node.js why we are required this because our next.js application will run only on this node.js because it's have a npm and npx package that is required to create your next.js application this is the answer of this question next question what is the use of npx create next app this command we use to create a new next.js react based application so we will see this also after installation you see installation is completed click on finish now i can remove this no need of this because they have every time new version now you can check this run your cmd command this is the command prompt here you type node v that means we have the same version which we was stalling remember that the same version 18.17.1 the same version we have now latest version we have so you can also install and download the latest version check this if this command is running that means your node.js is installed now you are able to create your next.js application i can create next.js application from here also but it's better to use vs code so this is the vs code and you can go to the vs code here folder and select any folder in which you want to make your application i want to make application in next.js folder so just i select this and this folder i have you can select any folder which you want to make your application now here i want to use create next app command and if this terminal is not coming in your application so you can go there and create a new terminal you can create here i have already terminal now for creating a new application we have npx create next app if you already knows react then you have the same command create react app in place of next we have react now if the project name so i say here uh, my because i'm creating for youtube so i say my youtube app keep letter small and press enter it will ask some question you see first question is would you like to use typescript right now i am creating this project for javascript i will create in typescript also in future because all the viewers are not aware with typescript but it's better to learn typescript because i have so many videos uh, with the typescript also react with typescript and react native with typescript and special series i have on typescript so if you don't know then please learn typescript also because the future of javascript is the typescript so now we have already selected no so press enter you want to use eslint yes because it's a uh, use for javascript validations if you use uh, uh, tailwind css no we do not want to use by default is no press enter now next question is would you like to use src directory by default is no so i follow the default rule but because uh, some beta version are running on this src they are this is the new directory structure of next.js so i am not using right now this you can use if you want then you see app router you want to use yes we want to use app router it is in beta version right now and they are recommending to use it and i am also using because this is the future of next.js otherwise they are using page folder so i am not using phase folder i want to go la for latest library so i am going for app router so i say yes and they are uh, saying that uh, would you like to uh, customize the default import aliases so we say we can say yes also because it can be used in the future so the symbol which you want to use by default we have these symbols so no need to do this now see it's a starting installation of the selected library which we have selected we have selected react react dom next eslint eslint configuration file for next js so each and everything is installing just like your react application you install and remember that next js is depend on uh, react that's why already next js is installing react and react dom so i have explained you this question also what is the use of npx create next app now last question is what is the use of npm run dev so we will see this we will run the application of next js by using this command so this command we use to run your next js application if you aware with react application then we say npm run start or we say I, I, npm start this is the command npm run start or npm start we can use for react also but here we use npm run dev so it take little bit of time but it will complete soon you see 
it installed successfully now we have to go to the directory so i say my youtube app i'm in the directory the which the project name is there now here to run this application remember if you click on this you have so many things here and i will explain in next video what is the purpose of these but here you see there is a main file here we have a page dot js like this and here you see now we need to run this application so i say npm run dev remember that run dev we have so many other commands also but first of all the first video i run this only this command and it will run on the same port 3000 so click here because automatically it, it won't open this so you have to manually open so follow this link click here and it will open in the browser taking time because first time it running so after this it will complete you see this first page is running right now and you see that here also it's ready and you see that by default uh, it coming in black color because my uh, browser theme by default I'm using black screen because of the eyes problems but if you want to make white screen so one major things you can do you can change your CSS file and it will make white color also so how we can do this how we modify these files how we change the background color and how we can add our own information here in place of these information so I will remove all this information I will set my own page with the background color white so many things we will learn in next video also so in this video I try to give the answer of these question uh, what is the node.js how to install node.js what is the link between node.js and next.js what is the use of npx create next app command what is the use of npm run dev command the answer of four questions I have given in this video in next video I will show you some other questions remember that these are the questions which ask an interview also so I am taking care of all the things interview questions and general questions it should you know the answer of those questions you should know if you are learning any library or any framework for so I will cover all the interview questions plus all general knowledge which is required to learn next years and fundamental to the advance all the knowledge I will explain in this video so if you like this video and if you want that I should create the full playlist each and every topic I should cover in this playlist please like share and subscribe this video this is the only way to promote me to your subscription your uh, like your share will give me motivation and uh, i will make more video for you thank you for watching this video